Imagine this, you sit down on your desk and you're very excited to start drawing and you have a clear picture in your head of what exactly you want it to look. But as you work, you start to focus on the little things. You focus on the lines that don't look quite right and the colors that don't match exactly what you had imagined. And now you tweak, you erase and you adjust. You did your best to apply all the art fundamentals that you might need for the artwork. And then hours pass, you step back and guess what, it's still not perfect. And a lot of us get caught in this trap, the trap of chasing perfection. I mean, this is not just about art, it can happen with anything we care about. Because sometimes as artists, we put ourselves under pressure to make everything flawless and we wanted to meet the perfect standards we have in our minds. But here's the reality. If you focus too much on making art perfect, it might actually be holding you back. So I want to talk about why perfectionism can be a problem and what alternatives we can embrace and what lessons we could learn when we finally let go of our perfectionism. So first off, perfectionism is subjective. I mean, what you see as perfect might not be what someone else sees at all. Like you can spend all your time perfecting your work but it's never going to be perfect in everyone's eyes. And that is because everyone sees art through their own perspective. And the harsh reality is that your perfect artwork might not resonate with someone else at all. So why waste your energy and time making something perfect when perfection is not achievable? No matter how much time and energy you put into your work, someone will always find something to critic. Of course, that doesn't mean your work isn't good. It just means people have different perspectives. And I think that's what makes art beautiful because it has the ability to be seen in so many ways. But it also means that no one can ever truly perfect their art because perfect means something different for everyone. Because what looks perfect to you might not be perfect with someone else. And that is okay. Like trying to make your work flawless for everyone is not only impossible, but it is also exhausting. And here's another issue. Perfectionism slows you down. When you're so focused on making every single detail right, you can end up stuck in place, like constantly revising and reworking until you burn out. And you never finish anything because there's always something that could be better. And the enjoyment of creating something could eventually lead into frustration and eventually a burden. And worse, perfectionism kills creativity. If you're always worried about getting things right, you are less likely to take risks. Because you're scared to experiment, you're scared to try something new. Because you will have all these kind of negative thoughts in your mind like, what if it doesn't work out? Or what if it's not good enough? And when you're always judging yourself, you missed out on the freedom to explore. And that can limit your creativity. So what do we do? What if instead of trying to be perfect, you focus on just finishing your work? What if you let yourself make mistakes because mistakes are part of the process, right? I know this might sound uncomfortable at first, especially if you're used to being your own harshest critic, but here's the great part. When you let go of your perfection, you give yourself the freedom to create more openly and genuinely. If you change your mindset from perfecting your art to just finishing your art, you'll finish more work and you'll stop obsessing over tiny details that probably only you would notice anyway. And you'll start focusing on getting your ideas out there. And the more you create, the more you learn. The best artists are not the ones who focus on creating one perfect masterpiece. No, they are the ones who keep on producing, keep on experimenting, and keep learning from each piece they make. And when you stop worrying about being perfect, you become more open to happy accidents. Like moments when something unexpected happens, like maybe a line stroke didn't go where you planned, or the colors mixed in a surprising way, and it turns out even better than you could have imagined. And I think some of the most memorable artwork comes from those moments. I think it's important to remember that art is a conversation, not just with yourself, but with those who view it. I mean, if you put all your energy into making it perfect for you, you close the door on that conversation. But when you allow your work to be a bit raw or a bit unfinished, 
you invite others to connect with it in their own way. And I personally think that imperfection can make our art more relatable and more human. And that is the best way to connect with those who look at it. So instead of chasing this impossible goal of making it flawless, focus on making it yours according to your vision. Because the moment you start creating for the approval of others, you've already lost. So it's important to create what speaks to you, what matters to you. Make art that makes you feel something. And eventually, the people who connect with it will find their way to you. And those who don't, maybe they are not your audience in the first place. So, what do you learn when you finally let go of perfection? First, you learn to finish more. So instead of agonizing over one piece for days or weeks or even months, you complete it and learn from it and then move on. You will learn something new from every piece of work that you finish. And that's how you grow as an artist. You would also learn how to be resilient because you would learn to accept that not everything is going to be perfect. And you stop seeing them as failures and you start seeing them as opportunities to improve. And most importantly, you learn to value the process over the end result. Because art is not just about the final piece. It's about the journey, the experimenting, the learning, the happy accidents. And by embracing perfection, you get to enjoy that journey. So stop worrying about making your art perfect. Just keep on producing more work and be yourself. People will not remember you for the flawless lines or perfect shading that you did. They will remember how your work made them feel.